More than 50 cars were involved in that pileup that started near Charleston, Missouri. It happened around 8 this morning. Good evening, I'm Julie Williams. And I'm Brandon Morano. It closed I-57 in both directions, and the Mississippi County Coroner says at least six people are dead. It remains closed at this hour as well. Yeah, and go ahead and take a look at this map. Now, that crash happened just outside of Charleston. Tonight, police say you should still plan to detour through Cairo or Cape Girardeau. Now, officials tell us this stretch of road could reopen at any time. Today, multiple agencies spent hours cleaning up that mess. A massive crash, leaving at least six people dead and several others injured. Glad to be alive. <laughs> uh, very fortunate that, that I wasn't one of them that, that got really hurt. Very back one, have you loud and clear, time of 8.09. The call came in at 8.09 a.m., shutting down Interstate 57 for about 25 miles from Sykeston to the Cairo Bridge. He told me to sit down in the front because there was like a bunch of cars just like slamming into each other. It was, it was a scary thing to see. A scary thing for anyone to see, even first responders who see scary things on a daily basis. We were responding out here. There was very, very thick fog. There was less than 50 feet of visibility. And as we came up, we found that there were multiple accidents on both sides of the road, north and southbound of 57, and it had shut the interstate down. The interstate was shut down for hours. I was a little shook. I, I didn't know I didn't know what to do. I was scared. Officials urging drivers to take detours and not to come to Charleston for any reason until the crash is cleared. We believe it's due to the foggy conditions earlier today. Uh, the incident's still under investigation. We're trying to determine the total number of vehicles involved, the total number of injuries. A busy day for many agencies and a sad day for at least five families. Since I've been here, I've been walking around and could see where some people had to be cut out of their vehicles and some didn't make it. So. It was a pretty trying experience. Now officials saying they expect that stretch of 57 to reopen any minute. We'll have more coverage on this developing situation. You can also get updates online on our website, WSILTV.com and on our app.